Oh, Janet, so you actually found this place for us, didn't you? When was that? I mean, it wasn't that long ago, was it? No, it wasn't. It was um, December. I'd been to a meeting at the Women's Centre, came out, walked up the road and um, saw the sign. I thought, ooh, <laughs> they've got rooms for hire. Exactly I'll ring what them. what we were looking for. Yeah, yeah, I'll ring them, rang them up and uh, came to view it because she was in the Gambia at the time, yeah, weren't you? Yeah, I remember. I remember getting a phone call, you yeah. said, Jude, I've found somewhere for When Women Gather, you know, our fantastic organisation. You said, I said, go and see it, go and have a look. Um, yeah, and it was just going to be a matter of cost, but what did they say? It was, uh, I walked in here in this space and it, it didn't look like this at the time, but I just went, oh! God, this is a golden space. Yeah, I remember <laughs> you sending me the photos, yeah. and, and it was if I it was just a, it, as if I was here with you, um, coming into the room. But you told me about just the feeling mm. of walking in there, and I hadn't heard you say anything like that before on another visit to somewhere. So yeah. there was definitely something special. But you mentioned the stained glass windows, the stage area, um, extra rooms at the side, and just just the general vibe in the place. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you were excited. Um, and then we took, I came back, didn't we? Yeah. We came in so, to see it together. Absolutely. And we ended up just taking it. I mean, yeah. we hadn't got our business heads on at the time. <laughs> so we didn't, <laughs> we had, clearly hadn't done our math. <laughs> but I tell you what, when things, things just fall into alignment, when they're yeah. right for you. And I remember coming into this room the first time and um, seeing the piano, it wasn't over there at the time. It was in this yeah. little corner, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was there, yeah. So, we, um, so I went up to the piano, we lifted it up and just tootled on it. It was all out of tune. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah. And it had bits coming off the front and I just stood there. Being a musician myself, I just stood there and said, let me forget about the building. Let's just sort this piano out first. So we had, a, um, I can't even remember who it was, somebody... He came along and did lovely it. Lovely gentleman, yeah. yeah. He sat down, he opened this bag from the early 70s, all leather and it was mm. really threadbare, wasn't it? Yeah. Got all these tools out and he played beautifully. Mm. Yeah, so we've still got some footage of him doing that as we well. We have, we yeah. have, yeah. We so have. he played beautifully, um, yeah, and the piano was restored. But we wanted to find out the story mm. of that piano. Yeah. Which led us to... Um, asking, applying for some funding to uncover the story mm. of the piano because yeah. this, this room has got so much history yeah. and a legacy of dance and you being a dancer, you know, oh, we were absolutely. bringing in some, the, some of the dance that we're doing today, but it had a history of dance. Very much so, very much so. You, you can feel that, that wonderful history in here and it feels like we're walking in the footsteps of a giant here you know, with the history that goes with it. And it's like, it's a privilege to be here. And it's such a beautiful space to uh, dance in, just to, to breathe in. It's just a lovely space. We've had some wonderful events here. Already? Yeah. And we've only been here I know. five months? Yeah, five months, <laughs> yeah. Like, ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, it, what is When Women Gather? When Women Gather, it's, um, it's about gathering women together in a, in a space that that is safe for them. It's like they can express themselves, mm -hmm. they can be themselves, they're feeling good in the morning or bad in the morning, come here and just share. I've done that this morning with the wellbeing group. We've had a really good chat about all sorts of things and a lot of feelings came out and it's great that other people support each other. And that's ultimately what this space is about. The vehicles that we use to do that are dance, or music, or art, or just sit tea and cake, essentially. <laughs> Absolutely. They're the vehicles that do it, but ultimately it's about us gathering and supporting and looking after each other. That's what me and you started from mm, we started on the settee when you came around that day. Yeah. On my settee, you know what yes. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. invited me around. We knew we'd, we'd known each other from the community creative circuit before, but mm. you said, you invited me. Yeah. And then we just said, we don't get enough time to socialise or um, make new friends. Exactly. So why don't we provide a space where people can do that? Yeah. Um, they're free to meet new people, to discuss um, their families and worries and woes. Mm. So we, we did that really, didn't yeah. we? <laughs> and yeah. we're still growing. So even with the, even with the pandemic in yeah. the middle of it all, we just took our stuff online. Yeah. Um, but look what we've got now. We've got a space where people can actually physically come into and mm. we can carry on with our aims and ambitions for When Women Gather, Absolutely. which is to um, improve well-being through creative arts. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. you're the dancer, I'm a musician, and um, community musician, and we yeah. 
blend that we, nicely. We do blend nicely. And it's, it's just interesting because through the lockdown, I discovered arts as well. So I did some mixed media stuff and I brought that to this venue as well. It's, it's lovely just to share it, just to, to have a go. And it's, that's what we're about. It's like, even if you're not a ballet dancer, like me, I did ballet last night, come and have a go. Mm -hmm. If it's belly dance, ballet dance, West African dance, Bangra dance, it's not about being the best. It's about coming together mm -hmm. and enjoying that feeling of expressing yourself. So come on down. <laughs> Um, just really? tell me a bit more about your, your musical background. OK, so I, I wasn't brought up with being a musician. Um, I, have, I had a musical ear and I taught myself to play a few pieces on the piano. Um, I really enjoyed music, but it wasn't until um, later on in my 20s when I discovered that I really enjoyed music, and, and particularly music from around the world as well. And discovering music from around the world really went hand in hand with my travels as well. So I went to work on Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean. I went to work on Mauritius, also in the Indian Ocean, wow. which took me to um, the Caribbean, to Martinique, and to Guyane, and uh, Guadeloupe, where I was a, an assistant teaching English. But everywhere I was teaching, I'd always be drawn in by the music as well, and how um, the different instruments and how culture and community um, are held together so strongly through these creative um, activities, uh, participatory activities. So yeah, that's what held me. So when I wasn't teaching, you could always go and find me at a concert or learning a particular um, rhythm somewhere or trying a bit of guitar um, trying different instruments as well. So yeah. so yeah, that's my musical background. And then I did eventually do a master's in ethnomusicology. Um, that was in London. So I went off to London, did a part time master's um, with a with a six month old baby as well but left her at home obviously and went off to do that on a part-time basis and got my master's so that's what really fired me that's what gave me all the theory behind everything yeah mm. but it's really for me it's creativity it's community it's connection mm. which i believe is reflected by what you are as well so we, it was inevitable that we were going to meet <laughs> yeah. and that's why we work so well because what we want what we see for this place what we envisage for um, the dance studio at Clarendon Chambers is to fill it with connection, mm. creativity, culture. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So, Janet, with your wealth of years in community engagement as well, you keep mentioning all these jobs you've had. They're amazing. So, like, over, over 40 years of community engagement, and then I'm coming with my, my shorter 10 years. Um, <laughs> But we, we bring so many connections to this place. So it's not just you and me. We stand on the sh we stand with mm. other organisations in Nottingham and the region and and nationally as well. So who have you connected with over the years? I mean, you connected with the Women's Centre. Women, well, yes. Who else? Yeah, Women in Tandem who are behind us actually as mm -hmm. well. Um, New Art Exchange. Um, obviously, Trev's organisation down the road of community recording studios. Yeah. Lots of um, the Vine Community Centre. Mm. Um, the list is endless because when I think about where of all the places that I've worked, and people go, I literally worked in most community centres, Beechdale, yes. you know, Shearwood Community Centre, and lots of um, projects, youth projects as yeah. well. Youth, you know. The beauty of that is we bring them with us Absolutely. as well, because and that's the legacy of a project. So it's not just glide, parachute in, mm. work with the people, then it's gone. Actually, we're pulling through all those partners. Yes. And and. Um, creatives that we've worked with and we just bring them we bring them Absolutely. all in here as well so like yeah. I say we are in here but we, we bring other organizations and we've been able to create a rich program mm. of, of dance but it's not just you delivering the dance we've got West African dance oh gosh, yeah. Bhangra dance yeah. uh, ballet dance yeah. jazz contemporary all sorts of yeah. dancers yeah. and then through me we've got the drumming with the little ones and then uh, Middle Eastern percussion mm. so it, it really is um, about connection here, Absolutely. not just about being connected here, but actually we are, we are connected to a whole network ourselves. That's right. That's right. So yeah, so to actually celebrate the, the network of um, Nora Morrison as well, mm. um, it's you know it's it's a natural thing for us. We can see all these connections in the community. Definitely. And thanks to Mo Cooper as well for un uncovering all that and allowing us to really know what happened in this dance studio. Mm. Yeah. 
It's fantastic, isn't it? It is. And, and we also do go out. We, we don't just stay here in the studio. We go out, you know, I've been out to quite a few day centres, elders yeah. groups, water dated complexes, doing dancing. We go into schools. Mm -hmm. You know, I've danced in the field, I've danced on a boat. <laughs> I mean, so I've danced everywhere, you know what I mean? Will you come and dance on a boat? Of course, I'd love to, yes. Will you come and, you know, so uh, middle of the field with some mountain climbers? Will you come and start them off, start the day off? Yeah, in the middle of Mansfield somewhere, in the middle yeah. of nowhere. Yes, of course I will. So we do go out and about as well. Yeah, just we've like, been oh. festivals. Yeah. Look at all the, we've done a festival tour this wow. this summer. We've been all over the place, haven't yeah. we, literally? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. We've been a bit short on time, but it, yeah. we've, had, we've had our best year yet. And mm. what's really even better is having um, funding support from the Heritage Lottery Fund. Absolutely. Um, to actually give meaning and purpose to the place that we're inhabiting at the moment. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. What an amazing project. Amazing. Go, girl. <laughs> <laughs>